Hello, friends and followers. Well, it's a Monday. No, it's Tuesday, actually. So here's the uh, minor loop board from the Paragon, which I pulled out, the Tentech Paragon. And this board has a wounded or a golden screwdriver-esque slug in this coil, which I may or may not be able to work with. My worry is that the gentleman who owned this radio and gave it the golden screwdriver may have damaged the coil in there. I attempted to take off this little lid here, and I haven't yet been able to get it off. I tried to desolder it the best I could, and I still can't get it off. But I may not need to get it off, so I'm waiting for the 6502 central processor chip that I burned out on the radio to come, and perhaps I'll put this board back in and see if it works. So I did take off the bottom cover of this board, and the bottom cover looks like this. It wasn't too bad to get it off, and I think somebody's had it off before, but what's nice is it has an insulator on the back of it, which is very concise, and you can get this cover off if you're careful without too much headache, so I did pull the cover off and did go through here and resolder all the connections on the bottom of this uh, minor loop board here, and hopefully that's going to revive it besides the golden screwdriver attempt of the previous owner. So yeah, I went through all the connections and hit them all with a soldering iron, so hopefully that will revive this board. You never know. It's hit and miss, so if it was a soldering issue, that should help the board work. So that's about it. Um, I need to really then get a meter and measure if the coil is still intact. And if it isn't, um, I can probably solder a, uh, a quill I have from the Chinese communists from Bojack. I have a whole quill kit of different inductances. And maybe I could solder one of those in parallel with this quill form, which would give this thing enough, uh, enough LC to be able to lock on that face lock loop on the minor part there. So that may be a way out. Of course, I'm not going to know. It looks like the guy fiddled with everything here, so I'm not going to know really how far along I am until I can get this thing live and working in the radio again and see uh, where I'm at. But at least I did my due diligence and my soldering. So we'll see how well I do. I'm waiting for the uh, CPU chip to come. Yeah, I did burn out the uh, CPU chip in the radio by touching it. In fact, there's the carcass of it right here. So I'm waiting for this chip to uh, arrive from the mail man. It's taken a week for this chip to come in and hopefully when this chip comes, the radio will fire back up, put the boards back in and see where I'm at. So that's my, uh, that's my rendition here. Yeah, I did even try to uh, use some pliers on here lightly to see if I could break this, this cover loose and I couldn't. So there's still some solder holding it on, but you can see how the gentleman who had this radio before did some damage to the uh, form. You can see the form is kind of broken there in the plastic, so it just depends where that slug is and if this minor loop will resonate. I, I may have corrected whatever problem he was trying to fix by uh, soldering everything, so and you may have fiddled with these too, it looks like, so I'm not sure where those resonate, but it will be some work to get this radio working again, that's for sure. Yeah, so the whole bottom comes off this thing, and it looks like it's uh, symmetrical, so I don't think it matters how it goes on. You can see where it's been soldered there and there, so that goes on. Pretty much like that. I'm probably not going to put this bottom back on until the board is uh, working. All right, so that's my update. When the CPU comes in an hour or two, we'll put it in and see how we do. So yeah, and I've been looking for a job also with my IT, and I've been exploring machine learning, but not too much today. Today's been a radio goof-off day. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.